has died. Another person remains in critical condition after a seaplane crash last night on Lake Winnebago. NBC 26's Regina Ahn has the latest from Oshkosh. A seaplane trying to take off from Lake Winnebago on Thursday night flipped over. Uh, one of the passengers got out right away. Two others were trapped underneath. Uh, they were rescued by EA seaplane base personnel along with Winnebago County Sheriff's Department. Uh, Coast Guard Auxiliary was also on the scene. Uh, all three people were transported to hospitals. One person died Friday from injuries. The three were from Minnesota on their way back home. Anything involving a plane is always going to be a little chaotic and you know this time of year with all the events and with all the planes there's always a lot more people in the area than you know a normal day so you know we have con contingency plans in place to deal with those types of things um, you know with different groups of first responders. And EAA officials say it's going to take about 9 to 12 months for them to find the cause of the accident. This investigation has now been taken over by the NTSB. Some of the things they'll be looking at, what were the conditions in the sky at the time? What were the winds? Uh, what were the conditions on the lake as far as size of waves? Which direction was the pilot taking off? Because typically pilots will take off into the wind to get as much lift under the wings as possible. The Sheriff's Department saying tonight the water was in fact choppy, which could have been a factor to the accident. The victims haven't been identified. In Oshkosh, Regina On for NBC 26.